it's about 10 30 a.m here in Anyang, south korea i'm just starting on my day a little earlier than normal uh, but i guess we'll start with like an ask me anything box and go from there so the first question many people ask is why tefl well in 2017 when i graduated i just lost interest in my original degree field journalism uh wasn't feeling fulfilled at a corporate job and just wanted to travel and see new things and also get a job that was really rewarding. question people tend to ask is you know why korea why move to korea well I knew nothing about Korea. I didn't know how to say hello. I didn't know what kimchi was, but I heard it had a stable job market, good benefits, and overall was a lot more secure compared to other countries in my opinion. The next question people tend to ask is how? How can you just uproot your life and move across the world, right? I had a good corporate job. I had a nice girlfriend. I just decided after having my TEFL for over a year, it was my time to be selfish and put myself first, have new experiences, have fun, see the world, and at the same time, I didn't know how to do it. And that's where ITA's resources really help. They have so many recruiters. I was having like 10 p.m. interviews every night for like a week. So you really use ITA's to answer that how question. Next up is my finance list. Please don't judge me for being so financially irresponsible. I spend way too much. But the great part about Korea, I still save a lot. Uh, I don't contribute to a 401k or Social Security in America. So I feel bad about that. So I do send money back. So quick apartment tour, uh, the of course entryway where you leave your shoes. I've bought too many shoes since coming here. Uh, the washing and drying rack, which is uh, very traditional. You don't have washing machines very often. Uh, kitchen tends to be uh, pretty small in terms of size and how tall everything is. Uh, spacing, not a lot of it. So you'll notice that everything is really on top of each other. I did buy that in Ikea. Yes, Seoul does have Ikea. It's also a futon. Uh, not a little bad room. I think it's pretty common. More places tend to be like office tells, but I live in a um, you know, villa. Uh, so yeah, the wet room and this is the place. It's nothing too fancy, but it gets the job done. Actually not bad. Uh English is one of their major tested subjects, which is why the English market is so great here. In addition, uh, lots of the words are actually English. The Korean word for bus is just bus. Uh, their alphabet, only 24 letters. I was reading within a week. The mask on, for the record, me talking about English words, Chicago dakbao, Chicago chicken feet. Um, yeah, I unfortunately was not able to. There was like a two week quarantine. It still exists for the most part, but now they're finally starting to open back up and go through the steps of opening. Making friends was actually pretty easy. Uh, I go to a big chain school, so there's like 15 foreign teachers. So immediately right off the bat, you have a bunch of connections. And also, Koreans yeah. like talking to foreigners. They want to practice their English. They want to make friends. So go on Tinder, go on Bumble. So this is the area that I work in. It's called Hagwanga. These are all academies, math, science, you know, whatever. Uh, and I'm going to go get eat some food right now. Uh, and that's just McDonald's, uh, which is a classic. So with the COVID regulations, you have to like sign in, like they do have like digital menus. And of course, again, in terms of that, you can always swap the language to English if you want, or you can always practice yourself. The straight answer is no, you don't have to. You have to make over a certain amount of money and teachers don't make anywhere near that amount. The bad side is uh, because it's like listed as non-taxable, you can't donate to like a Roth IRA because it has to be on like, taxable income. So there are some like retirement this may be an unpopular opinion, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just bring your normal stuff, maybe a winter jacket. You can order anything in Korea. They have Nike, they have Adidas, they have Timberland. Like, you know, I have cookie crisp at my house. The delivery culture in Korea is insane. You can order anything you want. Uh, the three major types are uh, hagwons, which I work at. It's just like their traditional after-school business, basically, where they learn additional information. Uh, the second type is their public school, uh, which, you know, is like Epic and things like that. The third is if you're an accredited teacher, uh, you go to an international school. So getting around Korea, I strictly use public transportation or, you know, like the high speed trains or even the uh, planes. Um, don't have a car or anything. Honestly, Korea is a little uh, sketchy. Uh, as you can see, this person just tried to literally make a left turn into that car. The driving culture in Korea is really bad and it's a stereotype, but I guarantee you that I've told people I will die if I die drive in Korea because these delivery scooters are notoriously aggressive. So, I guess, in terms of high school, there it is. Literally, it's just like on the second floor above Burger King. Like, people get confused on academies. They're literally businesses, like after school businesses. That's it. 
Okay, so just swapped out my shoes. <laughs> and now, going to work. So, main part of the classroom, uh, we did a Halloween thing, so I have a poster up there. Uh, oftentimes, I don't teach kindergarten, so you'll see a lot of stuff around my classroom and or just teachers hanging out. And yeah. In terms of the question, like public versus private school, there's definitely pros and cons for both. The pros of the public schools tend to be better work-life balance. You have less hours, it's more relaxed working environment, you have more vacation days, uh, but the cost of less pay, you don't get to exactly choose where you want to go. And honestly, from what I've heard from my students, uh, the curriculum is not as strong. Hogwans, of course, you get more money. Uh, overall, less vacation days, but still, you know, like 15 of them, like a year plus holidays. Uh, more pay, but it's definitely like a business and they're pushing you to say like, hey, you know, we want like the kids to do this and learn this. So you have to like work more hours and work harder. If the children should learn how to write words, I think that students then read about children. Maybe the other one, six more. More than others. As we said, nuclear power produces radiation. So all the equipment that were used should be trashed right away. So using of nuclear power produces both CO2 and you will likely never find a high school English hagwon simply because at that stage they're studying for their exams and for college. Uh, they're studying Korean to English grammar. They don't care about the speaking. They only care about the grammar, which they need a Korean teacher for to convert it. So you won't really have like a chance. I honestly just applied to like six different recruiters. Literally, I sent my resume to like a bunch of different recruiters. They all were looking for jobs. I was talking to like so many different recruiters that ITA set up. So yeah, just talk to as many recruiters as possible. And uh, yeah, that will hopefully help you set yourself up. Outside of small things like they don't really like do handshakes or they take their shoes off indoors, you know, even in some restaurants, uh, I think one of the biggest cultural shocks is just being an outsider. You're not going to look like 99% of the people and it's just kind of a weird thing where you're just so individual. Prep times are a good time to get any work you need to get done. Uh, you know, right now I have uh, a bunch of like book reports. I have to do my lesson plan. I have to give a comment based on students. Uh, we do have like standardized tests. So, you know, they have essays when they do like their OMR card like all the way from first grade up they do standardized tests in korea so you know i have omr cards that i have to make sure they're good and you know then also make sure their writing's fine so you so, gonna go get dinner now it's like 10 o'clock like all the schools are out so Lots of videos. I'm vlogging, kinda. So, just because. Uh, in terms of like dating, yeah, there's tons of options available. Bumble, Tinder, you know, just meeting people normally. Lots of people who do speak English. Uh, you know, that's, it doesn't matter if it's like Korean or, uh, you know, American or even, you know, Russian or whatever. Like, you'll meet people from all walks of life. So, you definitely won't just be forever alone, you know. Uh, you know, but it is about time for me to head off to the gym. I will say and end this with uh, gyms in Korea are definitely not as nice as they are in America. They're definitely smaller, but they get the job done and you'll have like a floor to yourself. So uh, gym life, you know, still going strong here. Um, but overall, uh, if you have any other questions or want to talk to me at all, you know, just please feel free to hit me up on my Instagram. I'll post it like over here. And I hope you guys have a good night. See you guys. Bye.